So yeah, I love the video. Um, I just thought I would ask if you guys uh, could possibly include air-powered vehicles, which are another uh, form of electric vehicle that you can um, plug straight into the grid, and uh, and basically everything is exactly the same as an electrical car, except that instead of using chemical batteries, which are possibly dangerous for our planet, you're just using an air chamber that's possibly made out of uh, carbon fiber. Um, so you're the the whole idea would be that you can store some carbon and make a vehicle that doesn't have that high of an impact inside of the city and hurt the inhabitants of the city. And actually, the air that comes out of the tailpipe could possibly be cleaner than the air that goes into the front of the vehicle. Um, some of the new uh, additions to these air-powered vehicles is a, a chamber that heats the air um, as as it comes out of the the com compression chamber so that it can push the pistons and the the heating of the air triples or makes the the size of the air bigger and and then the the that that uh, increased expansion actually provides more power so um, using compressed ha air heating it and then in conjunction with uh, superchargers or other forms of, of upgrades to the piston powered system you can actually make it an engine that runs at even higher uh, efficiency than conventional combustion engines because the processes that you're using are relatively lower temperatures than the combustion process uh, tends to be. So I was thinking, please include air powered vehicles. And possibly also uh, a little bit about thermal, like the Sopagy system, which is using um, smaller uh, collection based thermal heaters. That that use a parabolic dish to collect heat on on a like a, a one inch diameter pipe, and then using that heat to drive an organic ranking cycle system to cr to to turn a, a alternator and generate electricity. So those are two systems that I thought you might want to include.